Hi there everybody and welcome back. Um, we are at the end of our launch, catalogue launch party for today. We've had a lot of fun. Certainly I've had a lot of fun. I hope you've had a lot of fun. So here we are, the grand finale, which is bingo night. Um, so thank you to all of you who've submitted your numbers for me. Um, I'm just going to wait for a few minutes for everybody to just come on. Um, and let's just make sure that I'm in the right place and everything's all set up and then we can get going. So the plan for tonight is that we'll have a few rounds of bingo and there you go. We'll have a few rounds of bingo and in between each round we will have a bit of crafting. Um, obviously using goodies from the brand new catalogue. So once you're here, leave me a comment. Hi Lynn, how are you? So I'm just, we just got to keep our fingers crossed that comments play ball for us tonight. Um, hi, Kat. Welcome. Good to see you. Um, because being able to see your comments is going to be kind of important for tonight. So everybody keep everything crossed that it all works out. So while we wait for everybody to get on, just a few things to remind you of. Um, don't forget my prize draw to win a £50 shopping spree. Um, entries close on the 25th of January. Um, so there's a few ways that you can get involved. Is You can place an order in my online shop. You can sign up for Stamp Club. Um, which is monthly Stamp Club. Which is a great way to spread the cost um, of your... Wish list. I'm sure you've got a long one. I know some of your lists have gotten longer as the day has gone on. Um, so Stamp Club is a great way to spread what you want to get over six months. So get it in chunks rather than all at once. Um, and when you do that, then you get an entry into the draw. The other way to do that is to sign up for the paper share. So that's a quarter pack of every one of the brand new papers in our new catalogue. Um, plus free postage, plus a quarter pack of the Sunshine and Rainbows paper, which is one of our celebration freebies. Um, another way to do, to, to uh, so that's, sorry, my brain stopped thinking for a minute there. So that's place an order, join the stamp club, um, sign up for the paper share or sign up as a demonstrator. All of that will get you an in, get you entries into the, into the prize draw. Um, obviously with a £50 shopping vouch spree, uh, if you spend it before the end of February, then you get a free celebration item. Um, and simply commenting and sharing the videos from today also gets you entries um, into the draw. So if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you would share tonight's video. Um, if you're watching me on the replay on YouTube, um, obviously bingo is finished, um, but you'll still be able to see the, the projects that we make. So I've got some fun Super simple projects for you. So how this is going to work is you've all chosen um, five numbers from 1 to 25. I will call out the numbers and if you get one of the numbers, you type B in the comments. If you get two, BI, for your third number, BIN, and so on and so forth. And the first person I see in the comments who gets bingo wins a prize and as I say depending on how time goes um, we'll play three maybe four rounds of bingo we'll just see how we're going okay but like I said I'm just going to we, you might have to bear with me because my comments my comments are not showing through as quickly as I would like so we'll just we'll have to take it a bit slow hi Sue welcome uh, let's see we've got Sue Rowley is in Let's have a look. Okay, so Sue Riley, you've sent me your numbers. Um, would you mind just putting them into the comments here so I can see them? That'd be great. And then I can add you to the list. Great to have you with us. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I thought I saw somebody else there. Lynn, you've signed up for a stamp club. That's right. I've got you. Thank you very much. Hi, Doreen. Welcome. So let me just add Sue to the list. Okay. So. Dum -de -dum. Now, we've always got a bit of a lag on Facebook, but uh, there's been something 
funny happenings. I think it's probably a bit ambitious, if I'm honest, to try and do bingo night. But let's just see. We'll just take our time, take it slow, and we'll get there. There's no rush. And as I say, if all else fails, we'll just craft. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. I said I'm just trying to make sure that I can see. Here we go, here are the comments. Come on. Right, right, so great. So five, seven, thirteen, nineteen, and twenty two. Fantastic. Okay, so while we're waiting to get started, while I'm just sort of setting everything up, let me know. Of what you've seen today, have I changed your mind on anything? Have you decided you must have something that you current previously didn't think you needed? Or have I changed your mind the other way, actually? Have you kind of thought, oh, actually, now that I think about it, I prefer something else instead? I would love to know. Um, okay. Let's see. All righty. So what I'm going to do, slimline stuff, cat, yeah. Um, yeah, as I say, it's for for me. Um, I know it's pricey, um, but I think it's just a fantastic double act. Um, the fact that they work independently means that depending on which bit you prefer, the stamp set is brilliant and the die set is brilliant individually. So if it's too much all in one, you could just get them in, get the one that you prefer. So for me, that's one of the top ones on my list. I think the other one is um, one of the sets that I'm going to play with tonight, which is the Flowing Flowers stamp set. And I think the other one is the masks, obviously. So I did a whole load of cards with the masks um, a couple of Facebook Lives ago. And I think the other one for me is the whole abstract, is it called Abstract Beauty? I'm not sure you know what I mean. It's the Hello Beautiful stamp set and dies. They're the, for me anyway, they're the absolute must-haves. Um, and the paper that goes with it. So this little, is it? I'm going to use it on one of the cards tonight. So the coordinating paper pack as well. So they would be my top recommendations for you. Or, but obviously you'll make your own choices as you always do. Right. So let's just go over. So these are some of the cards that we've made. So some of them are from today. Um, and then others are from uh, other lives that I've done. So just recap on today. So we started with the daffodils and the free paper that goes in celebration. No, we started with the celebration freebies. So this is the rainbow paper. Love it. This is my number one pick for the celebration freebies. I'll be giving away packs of this tonight um, as prizes. You'll be glad to know. There was the daffodil, so you've got the paper, which um, is free and coordinates with the dies and stamp sets. And then you've got this uh, gift here, which is the paper and the matching stamp set as well, the Hello Friend. So that was our first session today. So if you missed them today, obviously you can catch up on them um, later on on Facebook and I'll also post them to YouTube. Then we played with the flowering tulips. And we first of all did just some stamping. Then we used that gorgeous border. And this is some of the paper from that um, set as well. And then we used the dies to create these fantastic 3D tulips. And our lovely little brass butterflies there just for you, Doreen. So, um, and again, this is paper, that the coordinating paper. So that was the tulips. Then 
these, this is the one where I think people are maybe changing their minds a little bit on. And this is the slimline dies. So these are the cards that we made today with the slimline dies. So there's the, you really are fabulous. The happy birthday. That one's not using the dies at all. I'm just using the stamp set. Um, and then we also made this one. So you don't have to use the dies only on long slimline cards. You can use them on regular cards as well. And then these are some ones that I made already with the slimline. So this is the chevron, the other die. And then this is some leftovers I've used. This is a new um, die set as well in the catalogue. But I've just used these chevrons to make that card. And I have used some of the sentiments. So... You are one of a kind I've used to create this card. And that big, bold, happy birthday has made it onto quite a few cards. Um, so this card here is using the um, my top pick from the catalogue. So that's the abstract beauty. Um, yep. And there's the hexagons. I love, love, love the hexagons. There they are again. And there they are again. And there they are again. So they're just fantastic for masculine cards are the hexagons. And then here's the coordinating paper. And this is one of my favourite. This is the big bold birthdays. Oh, bold greetings. Can't remember the name of the set. What's it called? Biggest Wish. So this is in the main catalogue. And as I say, you'll have seen this stamp set used a lot on various cards. Because it's brilliant. Um... And then my other top pick is the, uh, the the masks. So again, I did a Facebook Live. So look at that. Just these are layering masks. So you get that gorgeous two-tone effect. So you've got a couple of layering masks. And then you've got a couple of background masks as well. And um, you can see that Hello Friend is from that set that's free in celebration. Um, and then one of the... Uh, stamp sets that I'm going to be playing with tonight is the Artfully Layered. So this is the tropical one and the coordinating paper. And then here's just another one of the papers, which is that gorgeous fortune paper with the gold, um, the gold accents. So you can see we've got quite a few and believe it or not, that paper is actually from the tulips bundle or suite, which you wouldn't think when you first look at it because it's all about Tulips and flowers, and that's really quite a grungy kind of nail type card. So there we go. That's our, yep, just making sure I'm up to date on the comments. Okay, so let's start with a card. Hi, Sally, welcome. That's all right, we haven't started yet. I'm just about to do our first card so that we can get everybody in before we get going on the um, on the actual bingo. So first card I'm going to do is using the Driving By. So this is one of the free sets in um, Celebration Catalogue. Um, and I think, Lynn, you mentioned earlier that this is one of your top picks so I'm going to use the little beetle. So what I've got here is a smoky slate card base. And then I've taken, um, this is the hive embossing folder, which is also new in the catalogue. And I've taken and done that. That kind of reminded me a little bit of like tire treads or something. So I thought that would look quite good. So that's basic grey. And then I've got a piece of that gorgeous vellum. So this is the new vellum that's come out in the mini catalogue. This is it. a quarter of this is included in your paper share. Um, so this is basically white on vellum and it's a map. So I thought that'd be quite good. So the first thing I'm going to do is to trim it down. So using my banner punch, let's just put a flag on the end of it. Like so. Okay. And then we can trim that to size. And then I've already done a few already. So I've stamped and cut out some of the little beetles. Um, and I've fussy cut them. So I'm just going to do one more while you're with me. It won't take long. And I'm just going to grab my memento ink because I'm going to colour it with my blends. Um, there we go. 
go. So, just to ink it up. I'll put those up there for the moment. Okay, there we are. And this is really super simple to colour. So what I've got um, is I've got some light smoky slate, uh, dark basic black, some light pool party, and some granny apple green. So I'm going to start by doing the basic, the light smoky slate for the centre of the wheels. Now, I am not going to bother doing any kind of shading or anything on this. Like I said, with these, you could be very, very professional, if you want to call it, with it, and really go to town on the shading. But because of the nature of the, um, because of the kind of image it is, you can just colour it. Um, and you don't need to really to bother about shading. Um, I'm going for kind of a really bright, fun sort of look. Okay. So that's our wheels done. And then we're just going to take, and I'm using the bullet tip of my, um, of my markers here. Um, so I can get into the kind of nooks and crannies. So as I say, all I'm going to do, not even going to try and do any shading on these, just lay the colour down. So this is my dark granny apple green. Now, if you're a colouring aficionado, then go for it. Shade away all you like. But if you're not a colourer, just go just want to show you how easy these are to color without needing to be an expert so don't be put off by images that need coloring now i've got bigger areas i'm going to switch to my brush tip So, for some reason, I think my bullet tip has dried out a little bit. Maybe I hadn't closed it properly, so I'm going to have to go over with the brush tip now. So I'm going to have to be really careful about this. Concentrate hard so I don't go outside the lines. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to use my light pool, well, light, this is light balmy blue, but you can use pool party if you've got it, just to put a little bit of shading in the windows like that, okay? I'm not colouring the presents because I'm not using the presents. Um, I'm going to just fussy cut this out. Okay, so I'm just going to trim some of the excess. And then this is really quite a simple, simple shape to cut. And you can see the stamp has, I don't know if it's deliberate or not, but they've actually left a gap between the presents and the car. It's almost as if they designed it so that you could separate the two. And of course you could do the other, which is you could just stamp and color out, stamp, color and cut out the presents and ignore the car. So but for the purpose of the exercise today, we want the car. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to cut out this image. There we go. Okay, that's that. And I just need a scrap. I think that might be a bit thick, so let me just grab and see if this skinny strip will work. I'm just 
going to do the oh thanks so I'm going to use the teeny tiny strip okay so now we have our three cars ready to assemble okay so what I'm going to do with this because I don't want to show on my vellum is I'm going to add my vellum here like so okay and then I'm just going to fold it over the top like that get it straight you could score it if you wanted to but folding usually does the trick and then you just take a little bit of double-sided tape and attach it to the back there a longer piece on to make sure it's secure. You can use just regular tape if you prefer because I'm not going to take the bits off this. Okay and then we have our flap and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach our cars. So, okay, so then I'll grab my dimensionals. I'm just going to grab my minis. Okay. So I'm going to pop these up onto the vellum. So normally when I'm doing anything in threes, I do the two on the end first and then the one in the middle because then I can make sure I've got the gaps where I want. Okay, and now what I can do is I can flip my vellum and I can grab my glue. And I can just add some glue behind each of the cars so that I can adhere my vellum down, but it won't show through. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to stamp. This will be a bit of a test of my stamping skills, but what I'm going to do is, can you see I've got quite a large piece around the edge here, so I'm going to just trim my stamp. Now when you're doing that what you want to do is to cut it at a bit of an angle so that your foam is comes out past your rubber. You don't want your rubber going in or your rubber sticking out without foam underneath it because otherwise it won't stamp properly. So you just angle your scissors very slightly. As you can see I'm just trimming a tiny little bit off the edge. And that should help prevent edges catching because we hate it when that happens. All right, so I'm just going to take my basic grey ink pad. And let's see if I can get this on straight. It's a really skinny strip we've got here. So there we go. That's good enough, as they say. Okay, so then. I'm going to just trim it at the edge. And like I showed you before, we've just got a little trick to get the angle right. You just take the bit that's been cut off and lay it over your sentiment and then use that as your guide. And it means then that you get the same angle on both ends. Okay. Just a quick little tip for you there. Okay, doke. So now we'll bring back in our grey granite or our smoky slate card base and then using uh, our glue doo -doo -doo. So I'll put a bit of when I'm uh, attaching embossed pieces I tend to put extra glue and what have you down because you've got the texture there 
you just need a bit of extra because it will go in to those textured bits okay so we'll pop that on there There we go. Now, here comes the difficult bit as to where I put my sentiment. I think I'm going to put it there. So what I need to do then is I need to put a dimensional on that bit so it's popped up to the level that the vellum is at and then I can just glue it on that side onto the vellum. Okay. Put a tiny little bit on there. There we go. So there we have it. That's our first card using the driving by celebration freebie okay so now let's get on to the bingo so i'm just going to make some room here bring in my numbers so eyes down let's get ready i'll just make sure that my view is refreshed so that i'm ready to see your comments so like i said before how it works is if i call one of your numbers you just comment in the in the text in the in the box there so for your first number you comment b when you get two numbers bi three numbers is bin four numbers is bing and then all five is bingo so the first bingo that i see in the comments okay is uh is who will win the prize okay so what we have is i've got some choices so i've got um the sunshine and rainbows paper i've got some simply marvelous paper and i've also got some of the be dazzling specialty paper which we had um before christmas um, so that one's already opened um, but we've got these two here so if you win you can choose one of these okay right so let's get going let's just refresh the comments make sure i've got everyone i think sally was the last one in Alrighty, so like I said, our comments, my ability to see comments has been playing up a little bit today, so just bear with me. Don't worry, no one will lose out. If you get all your numbers, we'll sort you out, okay? Ah, oh, here we go. So, yeah, Kat said she likes the slimline stuff. Lynn's the same, the slimline stamps. Flowing flowers for Ali. Kat, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, and we've got Sally. Okay, so we're up to date on our comments. So let's get going with our numbers, shall we? Let's pop this away. All right, eyes down and ready to go. So first off, 1 and 12. 12 so i just want to make sure this is in view so you can see it 12 24 i'll put my glasses on for this so i can see <laughs> nine 16 23 sure that we're all you can see what I'm doing yep all right five fifteen fourteen 
four. That'll go to be caught up. Okay. Ten. Anybody got any numbers yet? Expecting to see some comments. So I'm just trying to work out how much of a lag there is um, on the comments and stuff. So. Ah, here we go. Here they come. Here they come. Right. So, cat's on bi. Sue's on b. Sue Bishop is on b. Oh, Sue Bishop's on bi. Doreen's on b. Okay. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to every few numbers. I'm just going to stop and refresh the comments so that I make sure I catch you guys because they're not coming in as and when. There's a bit of a delay on them. Okay. So, next up is twenty two zero. Next we have. Two. So you guys just keep commenting and I'll catch up with you. <laughs> 17. 13. 7. And 8. Okay, so again I'm going to refresh the comments. And see what we've got. Oh, good, good. They're coming. Oh, gosh, we've got lots of you on BI. Oh, cats on BIN. Let's see how we go. Um, I'm going to move these up a little so that we can see them all on the screen. Okay. So next up is 22. Twenty-five, six, fourteen, eighteen. So again, I'm just going to stop and refresh the comments. So here we go. Oh, gosh. Doreen is on, Sue is on B-I-N-G, Lynn, Doreen, oh gosh, we've got three of you on B-I-N-G, okay, so the next few are going to be critical for you guys, so let's just move these up a little bit more, trying to work out where on the screen we are, okay. Oh, Doreen says bingo. Woohoo, let's have a check. So Doreen has four, eight, fourteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Well done, Doreen. Congratulations. So would you like a pack of the Simply Marvelous or the Rainbows or the Glitter Paper? So just leave a comment. And I will make sure that you get what you ask for. So I'm just going to write that down. So, Doreen, well done. Okay, so, fingers crossed that what that didn't go too badly. So that I think that's that's the trick for tonight is to just do it every few seconds. Well done, Doreen. Congratulations. All right, so while Doreen chooses, because it is a difficult choice, let's get on and make another card, shall we? So next up is the Kite Delight stamp set. So this is another one, a new one from the catalogue that I was pointing out today. Um, yeah, lots of congratulations in for Doreen. Well done. Ooh. What have I managed to do there? Woo! 
You looking at me? Don't want that. That's better. <laughs> I don't really want to look up my nose, do you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So this is one of the ones um, from, as I say, just a stamp set that's on its own. And I think this is a lot of fun. So I'm going to create a super, super simple card with this. So we're going to start with a Whisper White card base. And then we have a layer of basic black. And then I've taken a piece from the Abstract Beauty um, paper pack. And I've just cut it down. So this it's green, but it gives a kind of it looks a bit like a sky. So what I was originally going to do is originally I had a white piece and I was going to do some sponging on the back. But then I saw this piece of paper and thought, you know what? I don't need to do sponging. Okay. So then I've got a scrap here and I'm going to take the big um, kite image here. And it's really, it, the images in here are really quite big. So they like this one kite image is going to fill this whole card i don't need a big don't need lots and lots and lots of them so i'm going to stamp this in let me think what color do i want um uh, i think i will stamp it in Ooh, decisions decisions help me out ladies what color do you think i should stamp my my um kite in so doreen wants the marvelous paper well done doreen congratulations it is all yours okay so um, 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 um i'm thinking maybe a yellow what do you guys reckon what do you guys reckon to a yellow black black sally says yellow so perhaps what I'll do is if I stamp it in black and then I'll colour in the bits in yellow. So I'll use my stays on. Whoop. So I've got my scrap of white here. stamping it onto white and then colouring it I'm just going to stamp it onto my yellow piece of yellow cardstock okay so get plenty of ink on there okay give it a good press which means I don't have to colour <laughs> you know me I'm a bit lazy when it comes to this sort of stuff I'm just giving it a couple of seconds to press in, okay, because it's quite intense. Oh, it's stuck to my card. Hang on. What I'm going to need. I'm going to try. I should have used my rubber mat. So let me just clean that off. So stays on can be quite sticky on your stamps and on your paper. So if I use my mat underneath, because this is a photopolymer stamp, um, you don't have the same. So when you've got a rubber stamp, you've got a cushion here, which helps. Um, whereas on a photopolymer, you don't have that. So sometimes it's better to use you add the cushioning underneath so let's try that one again Ink it up nicely so again when I've got a big image like this I like to take the ink pad to the image rather than the image to the ink pad and that tends to work a bit better now there we go. Mm. I think I need to re-ink my stays on ink pad. Now if this doesn't work, I'm gonna break out my stamparatus. Okay, so let's see if I can line this up. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut it out. You know what? I don't like that. So, hmm. I just think it's a bit, oops, it's a bit too heavy for the image that I want to create. So, let's try it another way. Let's get rid of all of this, give my stamp a good clean. stamp itself is also sticky. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to get um I'm going to use my mango melody. If I can find it. Here it is. No, nope. change my mind again. I'm going to use <laughs> I'm going to use melon mumble. That's just a nice, bright, intense colour. There we go. Much, much better. I think that's, yeah, that'll work better. Sorry to override you ladies. I don't normally do that, but. That just wasn't, I think stamping it in the black is just too heavy for the look I'm going for. Okay, there we go. All right, and then we've got the... Uh, Another year flies by, happy birthday. So I'm going to stamp that in black. I'm going to use my stays on for this, but actually what I'm going to do... Yeah, it should be fine for my sentiment. So, I've just got a different stays on ink pad here, so let's see if that's a bit juicier. going to stamp that down here. Oh dear God. There we go. Okay. And then we have this, and then we have this stamp. Okay, and because I've been having a few problems with my black, I am going to use my memento, see if that works a little bit better, even though it's not as intense. Okay, so just going to so this is the thing good thing about um our photopolymer sets or stamps is that you can move them. Okay, so we've got our going to go there and we want our tail here. There we go. Alrighty, so then I'm just going to pop this up. And 
And then I have my where are they? Where are those embellishments? Like those are ah, here. I've got these little stars. So these are the resin stars that go with the um baseball themed um stamp. But I think if I do this, I can add some colored stars to my kite. There we go. And then uh, I've got add that in there. And then I'm going to try a little trick on here. So I've got my black stamp and write marker. See my stays on hasn't stamped quite as well as I would have liked. I'm going to just use the bullet tip of my black marker. Just fill that out. So I think I need to re-ink my stays on ink pads. That's a job for me. I'm not sure when I'll get to it, but I will. So the black stamp and write marker is the only one that you can buy individually, but it's always a good one to have. All right, so there we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to glue this down. Let's make glue. It's one of these paper packs where I'm loath to use it almost because both sides are all are so so gorgeous. go and I'm just going to glue that down to my card base so there we have it another year flies by I must put these stays on pads away so I don't make the mistake of trying to stamp with them and causing myself a problem like I've just had because that is not good all right, so are we ready for another round of bingo? So eyes down. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll do like we did before. Every few, um, every few numbers, I'll stop and refresh the comments so I can make sure that everybody's everybody's in. I think I'm going to have to either, I don't know if it's my laptop or if it's internet connection here, but there's definitely something skew if, that's the technical term by the way, there's definitely something not right um, around here that's causing immense delays when I'm doing this sort of stuff. I have to say it's really starting to get on my nerves. Right, eyes down, let's go. So, we've got do, do, do. there, 6, 14, 9. Okay, let's see what that's done for you guys. Oh yeah, lots of you. Oh my gosh, nearly everybody's off the 
off the board on the on the board now okay so everybody's on b so next lot 13 8 oh my 8 is upside down 16 15 10 and 23 so let's give you a second there to process those. Ooh, Sue Bishop is on BIN. Well done, Sue. Sue Rowley's on BIN. Lane is on BIN. Ooh, it's going to be a quick game, I think. Lots of you on BI. Alrighty. Let's see how we go this next one. Five. Two. Four, twenty, eighteen, and twenty-four. So let's see what that's done to the standings. Ooh, we got Sue. Oh gosh, we got lots on B I N G. Doreen is on B-I-N-G again. You've got to make it two in a row, Doreen. Sue Bishop, Sue Rowley. Oh, let's see how we go. Let's just refresh that one more time. In case there's a bit more. Oh, Kat's got B-I. Sally's got B-I-N. Forgive the shaking, but that's what allows me to see your comments. I just keep refreshing them. Right. So let's do the next lot. Let's see how we go. All right. 25, 3, 12, <gasps> Doreen's got bingo again, well done Doreen, congratulations, so what would you, let's see, is there anybody else? come through oh sally's got bingo as well fantastic sally congratulations so sally and doreen tell me in the comments whether you would like the sunshine and rainbows paper or the glitter paper so do you want rainbows or glitter okay let me just refresh the comments in once more make sure there isn't anybody else yes yeah, so yeah, Sally, you've definitely got it. Uh, well, actually, do you know what? Let's check the numbers first, just to be sure. Jump the gun a bit there. So 4, 8, 14, 20, and 25. So Doreen, yes. Sally is 3, 7, 8, 12, and 18. So yes, well done. Sally says glitter, okay. Perfect, excellent. I shall put that down for you. Okie dokie. Glitter also for Doreen, okay. Perfect. All righty. So let's put all these away and then we'll go make another card. Excellent. There's your lucky night tonight, Doreen. Let's give these a really good mix up. Okay. So next up is flowing flowers. Okay. And like I said, I absolutely love these images. They're just so gorgeous and delicate and elegant. Um, just making sure I'm right down at the bottom of all the comments. It's gone right the way back up to the top again. So hang on. Dun, 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 dun. 
there we go all right so for this one as i say i just love these this is one of our distinctive stamps and i just love the variegation and just yeah it's just gorgeous and that's even before the fonts i love the fonts and i'm a sucker for a just a note sentiment so so what we're doing is i've got some soft succulent card base and i've got an evening evergreen layer and i'm going to create a background for this one so i'm just going to grab Scrap paper. So I just wanted to show you here where I was playing earlier on. This is what the images look like. So you've got the big flower here, you've got this one with the speckles, and then you've got the smaller one here. So I'm going to create a background on this piece here using the different images. Okay. So what I love about these is if you see, using just one colour, you get a variegation of, I don't know how they do it, um, but can you see how it's light around the edges and then dark around the centre? So that's just straight off the stamp set, the stamp itself. Um, I don't need to do anything with it for it to do that. So that one fits on there. This one needs the big block and this one will fit on here. Okay. So, as I say, we're using our soft succulent ink. So. Okay. So as usual, when I'm creating backgrounds, in fact, what we you could just, as a super, super simple one, just leave it at that and stamp a sentiment across the middle. But I'm going to do it a little bit more fancy than that, okay? So then we've got this one. And come back to that in a second. And then I've got this small one. She's got this collection of flowers. Okay, and then you can put an edge here, and a couple of leaves here, like so, and the same here. Okay, so we've got this gorgeous background. Look at that, beautiful, okay. And then I'm going to take the Just a Note, sentiment okay and I'm going to stamp that using evening evergreen I love the combination of soft succulent and evening evergreen I just think they're gorgeous really really beautiful okay I've caught a little bit of ink on the corner there so let's just get rid of that Go. Okay. Let's bring this close up our ink pads. Okay, and then I'm going to grab. Do, 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 do. Now I don't know which I want, so. Just going to do, just going to put my just a note across there. I'm actually going to trim the end of it like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put some ribbon behind it. So, to see if I want, I've got my white seam binding. So, we've got the white. I've got the soft succulent. Or go for the evening evergreen. So 
So let me know what you think. Do you want the evergreen, succulent or white? And whilst you're doing that, I'm just going to stamp the inside. So I'm going to take the big leaf image. Not big leaf, big flower. And I'm just going to stamp it here in the centre like so and I'm going to do sending a card instead of a text I'm going to stamp that in evening evergreen Got any suggestions for the ribbon? Or have I gone offline again? <laughs> okay, oh, here we go. Succulent, succulent. Okay, so it looks like succulent it is. I have to be honest, I think I was edging towards the evening evergreen, but it's up to you ladies. Let's just move our stamps out of the way. But I agree, the white just doesn't stand out as much as I would like it to. Okay, so we close this over and just start gluing our layers together. There we go. I'm just going to keep this quite simple. This is one of the reasons why I don't actually use patterned paper a lot on my cards. Because we can create our own backgrounds with our stamp sets. Okay, so we're just going to pop that up. See if we've got any more votes in. Oh, got a vote for the white ribbon. I'm completely at odds with you guys today, tonight because I am definitely feeling the evening evergreen. Okay, so soft succulent it is. Yes, Sue, elegant is exactly the word for this. It's exactly the word. It's just beautiful. I think this would be really nice for sympathy cards as well. Um, I think, you know, I don't like making them, who does? But I think it would be absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's just trim the end here. And here. And then we'll pop our sentiment on. Okay, and then it just needs a little bit of sparkle, so I'm just going to use my regular plain rhinestones. Don't think it needs anything more than, look at that, I've got a sheet with one rhinestone on it. Should we finish the sheet? <laughs> Get it done. There we go. Right. Then... What else? Have I got any other sheets with just a few on here? Here we go. There we have it. 
to say. Super simple, super elegant. I think you're going to see a lot of this, particularly the sentiments. I think you're going to see a lot of this from me. Um, whoops, just checking the contents. Hi, Jewel. Um, we're on our third card, so we've, we've missed a bit, um, but we still got a bit more bingo to go, so you haven't missed it all. So, let's grab your numbers and join in. Uh, just clearing up a little bit, so that's our third card. Okay, so that was using the flowing flowers, so this is one of my top picks uh, from the new catalogue. All right, so ready for some more bingo, are we? All righty, let's get our numbers out again. So eyes down, ready to go. Okay. Making sure I'm up to date, there we go. All right, so as I said, I will stop every few numbers to check where people are up to, seeing as I'm not getting the comments through um, as they're happening. All right, so we have, find that first corner, 12. 24. 1. 14. 16. Three. Okay, leaves that. Let's see what that has generated. Oh, we've got oh my goodness, cat! You're on B I N already. Wow, Jewel is on B. Jewel's on B I. Gosh, that was a quick start for that one. Doreen is on B. Is Doreen going to get a clean sweep tonight? Do we think? Okay, so let's see. Next up, seventeen. Nine, twenty. Let's check the comments again. Let's see, oh, Jewel is on BIN. Good job. Sally's on BI. Lynn is on B. Excellent. Let's see how we go. It's going to be a quick game again. Twenty-two, eighteen. And 10. Let's see where we are now. Has anybody else got any more? Sue is on the board at B. Well done, Sue. Sue Rowley, that is. Okay, any more for any more? Oh, Sally's on BIN as well. Woohoo! Let's see how we go. So, 11. 23. And 21. Let's see what that does to the standings. Does that help anybody out? Ooh, Jewel is on B-I-N-G. Sue Bishop is on the board at B. So let's see how we go. Alrighty. So next up is four, 13, and eight. Okay, I think our lagging issue is good. So Doreen's on BI, Lynn is on BI. Sue is on BI, Doreen's on BIN. You're catching up, Doreen. Ooh, Sally's on B-I-N-G, Sue Bishop is on B-I. Okay, it's getting close. Could be any time now. Okay, so next is five. Seven. Twenty-five. See what that does to the standings. Ooh. B 
Bingo for Jewel. Bing for Sue. Bing for Cat. Bing for Lynn. Okay, so Jewel, you've got Bingo. So do you want... Oh. So I've got a pack of sunshine and rainbows for you. So congratulations. I don't have any more choices. We've given away all our prizes so far. There we go. Oh, has Sally got bingo as well? Okay, well done, Sally. So Sally, you get a copy of the um, Red Sunshine and Rainbows paper as well. So Sally and Doreen have done really, really well today. And Jewel, I'm going to get the rainbows. So there you go. When you put your order in, you've already got a celebration freebie. How's that? Fantastic. All righty, what time are we at? Ooh, got one more card. We might have time for one more round of bingo. Let's see how we go. Okay, Jewel, if you wouldn't mind messaging me with your address, please. I don't think I have it. Okay, so I've got one more card for you. So this last card is using the artfully layered stamp set and dies. Okay, and I'm going to use the same colours of Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent as I did on the last card because I think it just works. And I've done a bit of my die cutting ahead of time. Okay. So what I've done is I have die cut. So like like most things, when when I get a, a new die set, I tend to just cut out various dies. So we've got these two here. Uh, we'll cut out the two solid images in the stamp set here, and then we've got our different branches. So I've cut them out in in evening evergreen and self succulent. So I've got. A Whisper White card base, an Evening Evergreen layer, and then a Whisper White layer. And then I've got a circle, and this is actually cut from the Hello Beautiful. So the coordinating dies to this. Um, so it's this circle here. So it's a full proper circle, but it's got some... Nice detailing around the edge, which I really, really like. So just something a little bit different to our normal. Okay. Um, so now I'm just going to stamp sending all the hugs. Let's stamp that onto my image here. And I'm going to do that in Evening Evergreen. You've done well, Jewel. You arrived in the door and immediately won yourself a prize. How's that for good luck? <laughs> okay. So there we've got sending all the hugs. Okay, and then I'm going to do a bit of background stamping on this. I'm just going to grab my scrap paper, which is here. Um, actually, I might not. So, what we're going to do is that, and I'm going to use my Evening Evergreen ribbon as well, I think. Okay. Um, I've also cut, but I've probably, ooh, where have they gone? I cut this image here with all the little bits that they appear to have dropped out. So just bear with me one second. I'm just going to get a scrap of Evening Evergreen. don't have a scrap so I'm just going to cut them out from the middle of this piece here. I'll be right back.
there we go. Okay, just got these little leaves. So you'll never notice that it's gone from the middle because I'm going to cover it up. All right. Just refreshing the comments, make sure I've got everything. Yep, got it all. All right. So now we're just going to arrange all of our bits. So I think I want And then we can just add a few of these little leaves just to fill in accent. Okay, so I'm just going to hold those like that for one sec and get my snail. I was going to put some ribbon on this, but I think ribbon would be too much. The leaves are more than enough for what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to lay these back down. Okay. Just making sure that everything's adhered so this one hasn't got any glue on it. So I'm not very worried about the mess under here because I'm just going to cover it up with all of this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Um, yes, I'm going to take this and ink it up in soft succulent. Okay. Right, and then I'm going to stamp off and just add it on there like that. Yep. That looks good. Okay, so now we can just attach our pieces. on the back here so I'm going to put quite a few down because we've got quite a lot going on underneath so I want to make sure we've got lots of areas where it's sticking down Just going to add a few of these little leaves. They remind me almost of little hearts. They're very sweet. So I've got some soft succulent ones here as well. had a soft succulent one but evidently not so we'll just use a, a 
that. And then I think we'll add some rhinestones to it too. But before we do that, just one more bit of stamping. So again, using my soft succulent. Okay, and I'm going to stamp off. Just put it on the inside like that. Okay, and then we'll grab our rhinestones. Yeah, so that's our final card. Have we got time for another round of bingo? Should we do another round of bingo? Let me know what you think while I clear this away. If you're good to stick around, we can do a quick game if you like. Who's up for another round of bingo? Yes, yes, why not? So we're out for the night, aren't we? Let's live a little. Let's go wild and have another game of bingo. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's get ready. Let's pop that out of the way. Alrighty. So here we go. First off, 25... 23, 22, 4, 21, and 7. Okay, now I'm just going to grab something. So let's see what that's done to the standings. Oh, gosh, we've got a good start there. Oh, my goodness. Sue, Jewel, Sue, Cat, all on the board. Okay, let's go. So we've got 20, 9, and 12. Let's see what that does. Who does that help? see let's refresh the comments and see oh goodness so doreen and jewel are on bin cats on bi my goodness i've picked some good numbers tonight ladies by that i mean jewel and doreen okay so 11 16 and 10 See how that runs. Where are we up to now? Oh, Sally's on BI. Okay, next lot thirteen. 18, 14, 14. Ooh, Doreen's in B-I-N-G, Lynn's on B-I-N, Sue Rowley's on B-I-N, Sally's on B-I-N, my goodness. Doreen, are you going to make it three for three? Two. Fifteen. And six. All 
Alrighty. Let's see what that does. Ooh, goodness. Lynn's now on B-I-N-G. Sally's on B-I-N. Sue Bishop's on B-I-N. Ooh, it's getting close. Let's have a look now. Let's see. Uh, 19. Three. And one. Give you a minute to process those. Ooh, Sue Rowley's on B-I-N-G. Cat's on B-I-N. Jules on B-I-N-G. And Lynn is on bingo. Well done, Lynn. Congratulations. Let's just check your numbers. So we've got six, nine, three, seven. 12, 21. Well done. Let me just check that nobody else has gotten bingo. Jewel has gotten bingo as well. So let's check Jewel's numbers. So 1, 3, 7, 12, and 21. Wow, there we go. So, let me check we haven't got anybody else. Jewel. Okay, so what I have for both of you is a pack of our, it's retired, our Mitts and Magic Glimmer paper. So this is, let me show it to you. This is from a couple of years ago, but I think you're going to love it. So you've got three different colours. So you've got the green. Look at that glimmer paper. A blue. And an iridescent for that. So there are, I think there's eight sheets of each colour. So that's for each of you. Well done. So let me just write that down. There we go. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. So now you guys need to do a little bit of work for me because I'm going to bring back in the cards and I want you to tell me which ones are your favorite. So is it card number one, two, three or four? So while you're voting, let me just remind you of a few things. Let's grab my bits. Here we go. So don't forget about the paper share. So you have until, oh, I think it's next week to sign up for that if you haven't done so already. Um, monthly stamp club. Again, you've got until the 20th. So I know that Diane and Lynn, you both have signed up. So anybody else, just drop me a message or you can follow the link um, on the Facebook page to my website and sign up from there. Um, and then obviously um, doing either or both of those things will get you entered into the draw for the shopping spree. Um, so we'll placing an order. So we'll joining up. Um, so there's lots of ways to enter. Um, also, I know some of you have been commenting. I've put up some quiz posts. So each of those um, will have its own prize that I will draw um, on Wednesday night at Wednesday Nights Live. Um, so do keep commenting on those. You've got a few days um, to do it. So let's see what we've got. Ooh, so let's see. Jewel likes number four. Sue likes one, three, four, two. Ooh. Doreen likes three, two, one, four. Thank you for a great day. Now a cuppa and relax. Absolutely, I'm going to have a cuppa. And I'm going to have some chocolate. Maybe even a biscuit as well. <laughs> I have had a fantastic day with you guys. I love having fun. I love crafting with you guys. It's always a lot of fun. I really look forward to the day when we can do some crafting in person. But in the meantime, this is the best we've got. So Sally says two, four, one, and three. Good, so it's quite a range 
of preferences here. So thank you all, ladies. I hope you've had a great day. Um, I hope you've gotten lots and lots of inspiration. And do make sure to, as I say, spend to your heart's content. I would love it if you did that. That would really help me out. Um, as I say, stamp club, paper share, orders, all great ways um, to get entered into the prize draw. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what goes into everybody's shopping baskets. If you've got any questions or need any help with anything, just drop me a line, send me an email, send me a message on Facebook, whatever. I'll pick it up and I'll deal with it. So thanks again, everybody. I am definitely off now to have a cuppa and I will see you all again on next Wednesday. Thanks very much. Bye.